Well, today marks a momentous day in Bahamian history. It was 65 years ago when hundreds of public and private sector workers walked off their jobs, shutting down New Providence for almost three weeks and forcing some much needed social and political change. Our Desmond Sanders spoke to a leading historian, giving us a perspective of the 1958 general strike. Well, it's considered a pivotal moment in Bahamian history. Angry taxi drivers and others in the labor movement voicing disgust when the exclusive rights to transport visitors to and from hotels was given to Bay Street-owned tour companies. The strike lasted for 16 days. The protests, organized by the Bahamas Federation of Labor, the Bahamas Taxi Cab Union, and the Progressive Liberal Party. Associate Professor of History at the University of the Bahamas, Dr. Christopher Curry says the general strike of 1958 was precipitated by other key events that should not be forgotten. Well, the timeline really draws us back to November 1st, 1957, when you had the government at the time, uh, the uh, Bay Street Boys, they were not officially formed into the UBP until after the general strike in 1958, but they uh, nevertheless gave an exclusive license for tour operators to uh, transport tourists from the newly opened airport at Windsor Field to the hotels. Uh, the tour operating companies were white owned and so it became a race issue because the independent black taxi cab driver and those allied with the ta taxi cab union were completely left out of that licensing arrangement. And so what they did led by Clifford Darling, they blockaded the airport road on November 1st, preventing any access to the new airport. Now the government at that time tried to intervene to bring quick resolve to the situation, but to no avail. A turning point came January 11th, 1958, during a meeting at the House of Labor Wolf Road, where key labor figures voted to strike. It's significant that Randall Fox and Lyndon Pinley walked into the Emerald Beach Hotel, put their hands on shop steward Campbell's uh, shoulders and said now, and that precipitated the hotel workers walking off the job immediately. It's profound because it shows the solidarity between three arms of the labor movement in 58. You had the PLP led by Pinling, Randall Fox, leader of the Bahamas Federation of Labor, and of course, Clifford Darling, leader of the taxi cab union which were spearheading the initial dispute from november 57. the general strike of 1958 made local and international headlines teachers sanitation workers and others in the labor movement galvanizing for change curry says a mantra of 1958 still resonates with us today more importantly the general strike of 1958 signifies a strength of the labor movement and a high point in the quiet revolution of the bahamas honey Everything okay? Everything's fine. Shop online for free in-store pickups.